Hey guys, it's Duncan from Business Pod and Reps Lee. <clears throat> guys, um, I just want to show you a powerful feature that we've never really shown uh, in videos. Um, it's how to take photos using hashtags. Um, so this is a really powerful feature within Reps Lee. So this is the mobile application. Um, and if you're familiar with it, you can go to a client uh, and you can actually then you know find your client as needed, actually go there uh, and then check into the client. So now I'm checking in now, I've got the ability to take photos, fill out reports and so on. What I really want to show you is around photos. Um, unfortunately, this will be a black photo, but uh, you'll get the principle. So when I take photographs, okay, you can actually then take a photograph. And once it is taken, you have the ability to, um, I apologize, let me just resize this. You have the ability to actually tag this photograph in a specific way. So this is really powerful. Um, and these tags are, you can uh, set them up on the back office, but they can also be managed from the mobile device. So if you click, um, you know, add a tag, you can actually tag this in, in various ways. So if I could tag this as demo or display, or perhaps your products, you know, Ferrero Rocha or FMCG or whatever you'd like. Um, so, you know, you could, complaints, quality issues, and so on. So you can tag these in, in multiple ways. And like I say, these can be set from the back office. Once I'm happy with that, I submit it. And you can see now this photo has demo and display um, tagged. And then again, I can obviously make a note um, you know, about the product. So 999 price, promotion, etc. Okay, so, um, and then I can submit that photograph. So that photograph's now gonna be submitted. So I'm just gonna I'm gonna go back to our back office, um, and then I'm just gonna show you how how it works. So on the Repsley back office, I'm now gonna you see the photos come through. It's obviously not a great photograph, um, but I'm gonna filter by all photographs. So I want to see all photographs that were taken for a specific period, and I'm I'm gonna just go big. I'm gonna say for the whole year. Okay. So obviously this gives you pins of all the photographs and where they've been taken and a, and a summary view. Uh, and the photos come through in a stream view. But what I really want to do is I want to see this in a gallery view. Okay, so I've clicked on gallery view. Um, and it shows I have 118 photographs. Okay, and these photographs are from various things. So now what I can do, those tags that you utilized, I can filter by a specific person in the field, by a location, by a, a place tag, which is, a, which is another type of tag, or a territory. But this is what I'm interested in, is these photo tags. So if I only want to see photos that are very specific, and in this case, I'm going to say um, Ferrero as an example. Um, now the tag appears that I used, and I click on that, and I want to just see all photos that have Ferrero Rocha tagged on it. Okay, and I'm going to add that filter. And as you can see, I've got three photographs uh, that appear. Again, I can click on these photographs to see um, these photos and also where the actual location was that it was taken. Um, and I can then scroll through those photographs as well. And more importantly, I can do a few things with this. Um, I can actually download all of these photographs, but I can also um, share these. So as I've collated this gallery now, I can share this through, through a link with someone. But I think the real powerful feature here is, is around these hashtags and managing these, these really well. Um, I hope that's given you a good overview of, of hashtags and photos um, within Repsy. Uh, for more information, go to info at businesspod.net. Otherwise, have a great day.